Hello everyone, my name is Karthik. Today I am going to give a presentation on our Marvel Soft College Admin ERP software. With our College Admin, you can able to maintain all the student record. You can collect all type of fees, a monthly fees, term fees, any type of a fees you can able to define and you can instantly receipt can be generated and can be given to students or parents. You can maintain staff detail, staff can apply leave and HOD can ap approve the leave so those information you can able to maintain. You can, uh, you can send SMS and email to parents or student with any inquiry or any, any notification you have to given to them. You can main, maintain library, uh, TC can be generated, marks card, attendance, all the things you can maintain with our college admin. To begin with, I'll go to our masters where first time when you purchase our software, you have to enter all the, you can define all the data in the masters. Say what are the subject you handle in your college. Like this you can able to define any number of subject. Fees, what are the different fees you collect term wise or monthly wise or semester wise you can maintain those detail department what are the different departments you are handling in your college course different courses information account heads marks card cast information so first time you can uh, you ha you can define any number of data in our masters Then I will go to my student. Uh, now I will show you how to view a student information and what are the different details you can view about them. In under student information, I am going to students. Where after defining all the data in masters, those department variable will be available here. To view a particular department student information, select a department, select a particular course combination is generally which semester they are belong to say I am selecting third semester uh, sixth semester sorry then uh, if you want to view all the student information just click on find so all the students under the particular department and course will be available here their basic information sometime if you don't know their uh, department or course uh, course name you can search them through their student ID or application form any unique ID in that in that reason like mobile number with that also you can able to search them if I want to view more information about the particular student click on edit button here it will take you to the other screen where all the information about the student which you maintain in your register can be viewed their first name last name their address detail the caste detail uh, parents detail in the particular semester exam what how much they have scored what are the certificates you are uh, they have uh, uh, submitted to the management those information which school or college they have joined in your college when they have joined all the all the uh, information you can able to store and you can able to if you want to make any changes you can change and you can update it so you can even maintain you can even maintain a daily attendance of the student in a subject subject wise pre device you can able to maintain say for example I am selecting a class department and a course so this uh, this subject detail you can define in our masters say I'm going to mark a attendance for English for first period just select a date so all the student under the particular department will be available default they will be present if you want to mark anyone absent just click on the checkbox here if you if you go down and update it they will be marked as absent so you can even promote student to the other courses other uh, like from one first year to second year those information will be uh, possible with our software now i will show you how to pay a fee how to generate a receipt same way you have to select a department course so combination with semester so all the student under the same department will be available say for a particular student I want to make a fee just select a student 
if some case has cashier uh, doesn't know the student uh, information like department course you can select them through the same id as you search in student information just click on the student if i uh, uh, now i'm going to show you how to make a annual payment like tuition fee click on tuition fee 20000 they have to make a tuition fee this this can be defined in the masters so sometime you want to add some say exam fee in between while collecting tuition fee you want to add a field trip fee any other fee you can go to our custom fee you can add say for examination i'm going to collect 500 rupees here say 500 they say add fee those fee also will be added to the existing fee so this way you can able to add any number of fees so say sometimes you have you will be giving discount to the particular student sibling discount staff discount so if you add a percentage automatically the fee amount will be calculated even with our software you can be able to make partial payment i will show you how say for 20000 the particular parents want to pay 5000 as of now and remaining balance they want to pay it later so that is possible say 5000 uh, you can, even you can collect our fee with cash, check, DD and net transfer also. So now I'm selecting cash. Have to select pay fee. So payment made successful screen will be available. If I click on print. The receipt will be generated instantly. And the receipt can be given to take printout and you can give it to parents or student. First time it taking a little bit of time from uh, next time it will uh, generate the receipt instantly. So the receipt is printing. Yeah, this is our receipt. It is customizable according to your institution need. The date, receipt number, name, which class, which course they belong to and uh, what are the different fees they have made, how, how much they have made. So what is the due amount? how they are made and the amount invert this receipt will be generated so if i select the student again if i find the student again so in the previous payment detail when they have made payment and for what they have made payment how much they have made payment, uh, receipt number those details will be available if you click on detail so for tuition fee exam fee they have made 5000 that detail will be available here again if i go to the tuition fee so only the due amount 15,000 will be remaining for that. Now also you can able to uh, the parent can you can able to uh, make full payment or partial payment now also available just you have to pay fee. Payment made successful screen up here. Message pops up and you click on receipt the receipt will be generated for the remaining amount. Okay. So this is our fee payment detail and uh, you can able to maintain income expense statement daily fees collection those things you can able to uh, daily how much the fees is collected those information you can able to get if you go to our fee report fee reports collect fee collection so here all you have to do is you have to define a date maybe month or a year or a day just click on preview all the fees collected on the particular period it, the report can be generated it can be generated PDF form, Word form and Excel form. Here I will show you how to take in a PDF form. If you click on PDF. The report will be generated in the PDF form. The same, you can able to give it to parents uh, or management. Uh, you, you can give it to management for uh, any internal purpose. The same way you can see fee due report, check report, student reports you can see marks card detail their attendance detail student id card can be generated student count report birthday report tc can be tc or leave transfer uh, certificate can be uh, generated with our software accounting report staff report if you go to our staff hr here you can able to view staff information department wise you can see different staff information if you want to see in detail you just have to go to edit where you can see the employee id photo can be maintained the address detail experience detail what are the different subject they are handling the salary detail even you can able to uh, provide payroll that means you can pay salary to staffs you can send through email 
uh, payroll, payroll can be uh, pay slip can be sent through email staff payment can be made staff can apply leave uh, for a hod uh, to approve it those information i will show you how to do it and uh, we have library masters where you can able to uh, see what are the different books availability you can issue books you can uh, written uh, written books you can see who and all in the due period how many days you can even find uh, uh, collect fine amount book pu publisher detail book location detail so those details will be available for example if i go to books if i select a particular category if i just filter it those information will be appearable reference number the title author name those information even you can use barcode reader for the purpose it will automate your library functionality if i go to edit all the information can be maintained about the book even you can take photo and you can take uh, uh, our this is uh, uh, the our software is integrated to the webcam so by that you can take photos you can you can generate various reports if i go to library reports i can create book report what are the different books availability we just preview it the same can be taken in pdf format word excel format this will be useful for the internal purpose say preview if i go to a uh, book stocks all the all the book report like due amount who and all didn't pay the written the book those people information will be available in the report can be generated so even transportation we have you can able to uh, mark bus route you can maintain a bus route bus uh, create a report say uh, who and all traveling in the bus how many students how many staffs so those information you can able to get if emergency whom to contact or for a separate if, say a bus is delayed for half an hour you can send a sms to the parents saying the bus will be delayed for half an hour uh, only to the particular uh, uh, group you can send a sms so now i will show you how to ha we have different logins i will show you how to have a hod login here in our login screen you can type hod all our modules are restricted only this particular module will be avail available for them it's a multi user login screen so if i log in through hod he can able to view only the staff details he can approve leave he can leave you uh, can view leave state uh, summary you can see how many leaves are given assigned to the particular uh, staffs and uh, what is the total information you can send sms and email to the students and parents you can create different report marks card report attendance report and all those things you can do you can send sms to the particular class particular department any number of template can be created with our software so if you want to send a sms to parents or student he can create a template he can send to staff or student just click on next he can he can send to particular department course all he can able to send sms any type of sms any query or any uh, intimation if he is asking them to uh, if they calling for parents meeting he can able to do it with our software so again i'm going back to our main login screen so only if i log in as admin all the modules will be available for me uh, thanks a lot for listening to the presentation if you want to know more detail about our uh, software you can always contact us uh, the no, phone number and the email id will be available in our website thanks a lot